Hi everyone, and welcome to InDesign Craft Channel. Today, we're diving into a super fun and beginner-friendly crochet project, the adorable Loaf Cat. If you're new to crocheting or just looking for a cute and simple project to work on, this is the perfect tutorial for you. Make sure to grab your yarn, hook, and a comfy spot to sit, because we're about to get creative. Let's get started on this charming crochet adventure. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the video. The materials I'm using for this crochet project are 4-ply cotton yarn, a 3.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a pair of forceps for stuffing, and a needle. Let's start crochet. Make a knot in a magic ring and do six single crochets into it. Here, I recommend using the X stitch rather than the V stitch so that your crochet will not slant to the right. For more information, please watch my previous video about avoiding slant stitches. You can place a marker in the first stitch of each round to help keep track. At the end of each round, do a slip stitch to join. and then make a chain to start the next round. In round one, make an increase in every stitch until the end. You should have a total of 12 stitches. In round two, work one single crochet. Followed by one increase. And repeat this set six times. This will give you a total of 18 stitches for this round. In round three, work one increase,
followed by two single crochet. And repeat this set six times. This will give you a total of 24 stitches for this round. In round four, work three single crochet. Followed by one increase. And repeat this set six times. Total of 30 stitches for this round. In round five, single crochet in every stitches until end. Total of 30 stitches for this round. In round six, we'll start crocheting the ears. Work 10 single crochet stitches. Then begin the ear in the front loop only. Work one half double crochet. Followed by one double crochet, two triple crochet, and one double crochet all in the same stitch. followed by one half double crochet. That completes one ear. Next, make four single crochet stitches. After that, crochet the second ear in the front loop only Work one half double crochet, followed by one double crochet, two triple crochet, and one double crochet all in the same stitch.
followed by one half double crochet. That completes the second ear. Next, work 10 single crochet stitches. In round seven, we'll start crocheting the front legs. Work two single crochet. Then make five half double crochet puff stitches. Follow with seven single crochet. Next, Work the next three single crochet in the back loop only. Then make four single crochet. Work the next three single crochet in the back loop only. Then continue with seven single crochet. Make five half double crochet puff stitches. and finish with two single crochet. Place the nose bead at the center of the face and position the eye beads between rounds one and two. In round eight to 14, single crochet in every stitches until end.
Remember that the chain created by the puff stitches in round seven is not counted in the total stitch count. This means you should skip this extra chain when working your single crochet stitches in round eight. When you reach the area where the puff stitch chain is located, simply skip it and continue crocheting into the next stitch. If your stitches are twisting to the right, it means that the way you're pulling out the yarn is also to the right. You might want to check out my previous video on how to avoid twisting stitches for more information and tips on correcting this issue. I will share the link in the description. In round 15, we'll crocheting the back legs. Work two single crochet, then make five half double crochet puff stitches. Follow with 24 single crochet. Next, make five half double crochet puff stitches and finish with two single crochet stitches. In round 16, single crochet in every stitches until end. In round 17, we'll start decreasing. Work one decrease. Followed by three single crochet. And repeat this set six times. This will give you a total of 24 stitches for this round. can fill in polyester fiber until it's fully filled. In the following round, just follow the written pattern. Cut the leftover yarn and fasten off.
Now that the body of the loaf cat is complete, we'll move on to crocheting the tail. Make a knot in a magic ring and do six single crochets into it. In round 1 to 13, single crochet in every stitches until end. You can change the yarn color after round 8 if you'd like, or simply continue with a single plain color. Cut the yarn, leaving a long tail. Attach the tail to the body of your loaf cat on around round 18. Use black yarn to sew the whiskers onto the face. Once you've done that, your crochet loaf cat is complete. Feel free to experiment with different colors or sizes for a variety of looks. Just remember to use a crochet hook size that matches the yarn you're using to ensure the best results. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.